and this is what I say when I mean raise your vibration, become more aware, and understand where you are on your journey in life. Once you Welcome to the YouTube channel, you guys. In this video, we will be discussing how you are to become the change maker of your life, the way shower for yourself first, the conversion of your own life. And so in doing so, you have to qualify yourself. You have to qualify yourself through a multiple range of choices and decisions that you will have to choose to make for yourself. That means understanding how your mind works, right? Understanding how positive you are and understanding the story that you tell yourself because us as people always identify with a specific story that we tell ourselves and a large amount of beliefs that we truly hold on to and so in unraveling the things that we need to unravel within our hearts where our emotions lie where our trauma lies because a lot of times you can't get to any goal in your life you can't make a healthy choice in your life due to the trauma that we hold and hoard in our heart center which is connected to our decisions which is connected to our thoughts that is strongly connected to our belief systems. And so in becoming the conversion of your life, you have to truly wake up inside of yourself in order to become the way shower for yourself, in order to become the conversion, because we look for conversions on the outside of us. We look for things to help us change. We look for things on the outside of us to help us in so many ways but we forget to check in with ourselves because we are the conversion we become the conversion we become the way shower for ourselves first through identifying our own selves with our story that we tell ourselves and through rearranging and changing the things that we need to change as far as the story that we tell ourselves we can have this story that we've been living with and standing on for so many years and the story doesn't even belong to us and that one story is I'm not enough that's one of them I, I'm not I'm not supposed to be um, rich or I'm not supposed to have a lot of money or money is root to all evil and the list goes on I don't not deserving of love I'm undeserving of love and the list goes on and so by way of the choices we make and how we treat ourselves and how we talk to ourselves and how we feel inside of ourselves literally create the road map of the things that we are manifesting on the outside of our life our reality externally and reality internally are working together in unison and creating the life a life whatever life we choose some of us are unaware of what we're choosing. Some of us are aware of what we're choosing. When you become aware of what you're choosing, you are living life intentionally. You are living life intentionally. And so intentionally, living life intentional is strongly connected to, to being the conversion. Period. And being the conversion is you converting. You're converting from one mindset. You're converting from being the complainer to the problem solver these lack mentalities to abundant mentalities these lack thoughts right these lack stories that we tell ourselves these low vibrational ways in which we live our lives on the inside of us change has to change and then by way of changing on the inside the outside has to change there is there is no other choice it has to, it has to happen and so you are taking your free will and you are willing yourself to re-identify with a brand new story that you tell yourself. And after you re-identify with a brand new story that you tell yourself, your whole entire thought process, heart set, which is your emotions and words, all work together in unison to give you a shift. Usually the shift is something that you are truly intentional of. The shift is something that you are totally aware of. And this is what I say when I mean raise your vibration, become more aware, and understand where you are on your 
journey in life. Once you pinpoint where you are, you write that down. And once you understand what it is about you, how you are, where you are, heart, body, and mind, you know, you will understand exactly what you have to do to create the life you want. It's just that simple. And I'm saying it's just that simple because everything starts with you and it starts with the mind. Mind is all. So whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you feel about, it, co it coincides with your thoughts, your words. Everything coming out of you is working in unison. And so our heart is a, the biggest energy center of our body. So along with our thoughts, the universe is picking up what you're giving off. What, you, what you're giving off by thought and by heart and by emotion. I hate this. You don't even have to feel it. I mean, say it. But your emotions and your energy that you're giving off, period. People, your, your whole environment is, is, is attached and, and, and connected to your whole entire vibrational frequency. So whatever you're feeling and thinking and speaking and how you're moving and acting, everything is connected. Your, your, your reality is saying, oh, this is how she is. That's how she is. So this is what we are going to give her. This is what she has to get because this is law of attraction. It's simple. It's so simple once you understand yourself. That's when you become the conversion. And by way of coming to conversion, then you become the diversion. Now you're leveling up and you're creating this route to that direction, this route to get to that, this roadmap to expound and expand so many aspects of who you are as a human being. It, it could be a challenge in, in some areas, but only if you let up, only if you stop, only if you um, give up on your own self. Everything in life comes with a ch a, 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 a an extreme amount of persistence and consistency. I don't care what it is. If you don't have the persistence and consistency and alignment with your discipline, nothing can be created and nothing can manifest. And so in being a conversion, you become the problem solver. You cut ties with, you break up with, you burn, you eliminate complaining, period. Complaining is literally a um, low vibrational frequency to, to live your life in because with complaining comes anger. With anger comes comes you looking at somebody else's life feeling like that should be you or you saying I'm jealous now. I feel some type of um, envy because this person had this even though you're not verbally saying it but the thoughts, the thoughts, the thoughts, the thoughts, the emotions, the words all work together and so all of that energy is telling the universe that you, you're not deserving of love you're not deserving of a great life because you are feeling negative on the inside of yourself because of somebody else's blessing when you are supposed to feel blessed and feel encouraged and feel inspired by somebody else's movements in life like i said you are the conversion you are the um the conversion you are the math equation to your own life you can literally maximize that math equation you can decrease that math equation you are you are the conversion whatever you're giving off is simplified to the lowest common denominator so whatever that common denominator is if you're giving off something positive that common denominator is going to be real high if you're giving off something negative the common denominator is going to be very low. The conversion will give you the gift of something you don't want to experience because you are the conversion. Your conversion will give you the gift of something you don't want to experience. You are the your own way shower. And this is why it's important to start with yourself first. You can't be a way shower, a change maker, a, a, a curse breaker. If you're moving in low vibrational frequency or you're going to attract low vibrational people, low vibrational experiences, low vibration, no people talking about you behind your back. This is something that's I mean, it's going to that's going to happen whether you're doing bad or good anyway. But you, you don't want to focus on that. And that's you won't focus on that type of negativity when you are literally wanting to and craving to the need and desire to manifest a new life for yourself. It's easier, it's easy, 
I know it's easier for, for me to stand up here and say it, but I, I, I can only speak to everybody that's watching me speak right now. I can only speak to you guys from pure experience. Pure experience. I remember do, going through things in my life and being raised uh, by my mom. She smoked drugs and all of that stuff was in my life, if you know what I mean when I say drugs. It was, it's, it, was it's, it was all around my life, all around my life. And you know, at a young age, you can be so susceptible and so easily conditioned into that way of being, thinking that is the right way to exist on this earthly plane. Or you can been around people who uh, was doing other negative things, and you just in this, you just in this space, and being conditioned a certain type of way, with a certain type of thought process, with a certain type of belief system, you're gonna grow up. And you're going to live out whatever you believed or however you was raised and conditioned, you know, to do the things in life. If, I mean, you are your own conversion and a lot of, of us are not equipped with the intellect or, with the, or the mind or the intuitive connectivity to higher consciousness to catch what it is that you won't do at a certain age or what it is that you will do at a certain age. Because at a certain I was young. When I was young, I was gullible. When I was younger, I was gullible. I was easily led. I was easily manipulated. And so growing up, looking back, it was a lot of that that I didn't even, I wasn't even aware that I was strong. Like it was hard for somebody to say, let's go get drunk. Cause I never drank until I turned 21 and I had a many opportunities. I never was, I had people around me saying, let's go smoke. I never smoked weed till I got older. Like I wasn't the one going, you know, party hopping, bar jumping. I wasn't going to be doing all of that. but And so when I look back at it, I, I see all my strength. And if you are connected to higher consciousness, it's never too late to, to, to understand what it is you want in your life. It's never too late to understand the type of belief systems that you have. Um, a lot of people say when you get to, when you get older, um, it's too late to learn. That's a big lie. That's the biggest lie I ever heard. I didn't see huge women that's over 50, over 60, lose a whole lot of weight. Change their whole mindset. Because you have to equip your mindset before you even do that type of thing. It has to be a balance. Somewhere in there. Or you're going to lose yourself somewhere in there. But you're never too old. You're never too old to re retrain yourself. Remind yourself that. Constantly remind yourself that this is not my belief system. I don't have to believe in this. The moment you choose to not believe in this one thing... Something else has to come in its place. And so make sure it's a balance. It's a balance of something positive that now that you are untangling yourself with this negative um, thought, this negative belief system, now I'm incorporating this positive belief system in my life because now I could become a whole new version of myself. I become a whole new person by way of how I am now thinking about this one aspect of my belief system that had me feeling like nothing was possible. Now you're saying I'm possible. Now you're saying anything is possible. You are the conversion. You are the divergent. You're creating different levels of breaking away from certain situations, certain people, certain toxic environments that you know is not beneficial for your own mental health. A lot of us stay in contaminated situations knowing that it's mentally bruising mentally abusive and that's okay in that space but if you are listening to me speak right now and you know that this is you that i'm talking to your decision is your decision your crave is your crave and your desire is your desire we only change when we are literally at rock bottom most of us doesn't even know or even want to change until something drastic happens and i know from experience my mom um father um you know, was doing bad things and negative things. And when he passed away, she got clean. Just like she don't have anybody to carry her through the, the process of what she wanted to do and how she wanted to do it. And it was a negative thing. And so she found freedom. She found freedom after uh, my grandfather passed away. It was, the, it was the worst experience at the same time, but it was a freedom for her to experience a new sense of life. 
And sometimes we have to be at our lowest point to experience a drastic change. But it's by choice because we have things around us already telling us. We have things around us that God is showing us and we ignore it. We choose to ignore it. Debilitating every ch any chance that we ever wanted to change our life because we're not wanting the change. We're not wanting to be receptive to open up to receive what it is that God is trying to say. Life is our respon our life is our responsibility. And we hold the key to our own life. So if you had to be watching me speak right now, you're walking through life disconnected, not knowing how to become the conversion and the diversion of your own life. You you are like that because you are literally choosing to and deciding to. You can hold on to any excuse you want to hold on to. That's fine. That's fine. I used to do the same thing. But at the end of the night, your peace of mind is important. Your mental health is important. The people you have around you are important too. But also at the same time, you first. And I'm saying you first because a lot of times we don't even know what it is to literally put ourselves in a space to say, well, that's affecting you. That's affecting you. That's affecting you. Because we got all these other energies around us pulling on us and tugging on us. And we like, oh, I got to do this for her. I got to do this for him. I got to do this for everybody. And then you really not doing nothing for yourself. Which is unfair. It's, it's a strong imbalance there. Imbalance of love. You have to pour into yourself. And a lot of us leave this place extremely overstressed and overworked. Because we just try to be everything to everybody and nothing to ourselves. And that's important. That's important to understand and look at that. You are valuable. You are valuable. But I could say that all, all day. You have to know that you, you have to literally look in the mirror and feel that for yourself. And in order to get to that part and get to that point, you have to be willing to do and untie yourself from the trauma. A lot of times we create... I mean, we are in the situations and we are in the experiences that we are in because of the trauma that we have not healed from yet. And so becoming a conversion is, is, is literally uh, ripping yourself away from those type of people, those type of mindsets, those type of life experiences, those type of habits. That's, that's, that's literally you becoming the conversion and diversion. Because now you are in a space of you know that you are the um, co-creator of your life. Working with God, a.k.a. the universe, to change and shift your reality this energy is magnificent this energy is abundant this energy is everything that's not negative this energy is high vibrational high frequency energy and so if you make the choices and you choose to do the right thing for you um that'll be causing endings and causing disruptions in other people's lives so that you can have a more peaceful one and i don't i don't feel like nothing is wrong with that you are the divergent and the conversion. And, and that is disruptive for other people. But that's okay. Because other people have to live their life. Everybody was born individually. Although we are all connected. We are all connected. But make sure you are creating time for yourself. It's, that's something that's greatly missed. It's like it's okay. We need to make a thing. Now is the time to make yourself a thing. Because you matter. You matter. And it may be a million and one experiences that you've been through in your life to make you feel like you do not matter. And that's just the trick of the ego. Right. The ego mind has a job to do. And it's always trying to get you to think negatively. To do um Things that you really shouldn't even do. But the ego mind will make you feel like you need a certain substance or need a certain thing or need a certain person. You know, the whole thing, the whole time, all you really need is you. You need you. You need to pick yourself up. That's why it's important to be connected to higher consciousness, God. It's important to um, view yourself and look at yourself um, in, in, through an easy eye, through a, uh, through a lovable not hard, dogmatic, mean way. Because we look at ourselves like that a lot. And then we are silently and secretly dogging ourselves out in our own mind. And then we encounter relationships that do us the same way. And that's just energy attracting energy. This is why I'm, I constantly say energy is everything. 
Energy is everything. It's your job to become the conversion and the divergent of your life. So I wanted to have this serious talk and this loving talk because a lot of times we, we don't, if we don't have nobody that's going to say the things that the other people around us not saying, we really don't have um, a source that we can go to for some form of enlightenment. And I, and I love to love on people and I want you to know that you deserve to be loved. You deserve to have the best life ever. I don't care what your life was like. I don't care what your life looked like. I don't care what people told you. I don't care what people did to you. You deserve to be loved. You have to, you must, you should, you always speak, feel, think that about yourself in your life. Because you are the convergent. I mean, you are the divergent. You are here to be the convergent. Period. That's how I feel. Well, thank you for coming to the channel to watch this video again. And as I always say before I end any of my videos, make sure you let nobody steal your joy. Not a situation either. And make sure you smile every single day. And if life is giving you something you don't want, Make sure you are paying attention to what the experience really is, but not so much in an, in an emotionally attached way, but in a way where you can step outside the situation to look at the situation and you can literally look at the situation and say, well, this person did this and I can learn this. You may not be able to see that right in this mess, but Give it a couple of days, give it a couple of weeks, and then look at it and say, this is what I'm supposed to learn from this situation. Because everything happens over time in time, even though time is an illusion. It just is what we, you know, use now. But because life is fluid, time is fluid. Anything can happen any given day, any given time. You can wake up and hit the lottery for a million dollars. And then you ain't even the same person you was yesterday or a moment before you knew you hit the uh, lottery. Just saying, time is fluid. Time is fluid. You can literally manipulate the energies around you to shift any point on your timeline to shift and become the great, best and greatest version of yourself if you choose to do so. Because you are the conversion. You are. You need to know that. Powerful. When you understand where you are. Well, have an amazing day, night, and evening. Whenever you see this video. Mwah.